Hi there, this is uh, Metal Guitar Stuff, and today I'm going to show you one trick that is going to unlock your guitar playing speed if you are having problems speeding up your playing. Now, I discovered this a few years ago, and I know this is kind of a clickbait title, and I don't mean to fool anyone, and I, <clears throat> I can't really guarantee that this is going to work for everyone, because not everyone plays all, all the same way. But um, it's it's worth giving it a shot if you are struggling with uh, getting your speed up while playing uh, the guitar. And we're gonna focus on some easy speed building exercises of this, uh, this lesson. And uh, we're going to use this. This was the first exercise that I ever used uh, to learn alternate picking, and of course this lesson. Uh, demands that you know how to alternate pick. If you don't, uh, look it up. I have a tutorial on YouTube and lots of other players also have that. So, let's see. We're going to play on the D string, 12th, 14th, 15th, and then on the G string, 12th and 14th, and then back down. So. And my problem, and a lot of other people's problems, I know this because I've been teaching guitar for years, um, even though I stopped teaching a few years back, uh, but the problem that many people do make is that they they start slow, which is good, start slow with a metronome, just like you have to, I'm not going to use a metronome in this video, but you have to start slow, you can't just jump in and do this super fast, because it's never going to sound good that way, but it comes to a point, a certain point, where you have to be able to play it faster than you're actually able to play it. Because if you just start slow and then gradually build, 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 build the speed, it's it's almost like walking and just walking faster and faster and then thinking that you're going to walk as fast as Usain Bolt sometime. But that's never going to happen because at some point your feet are going to have to lift from the ground and you're going to have to start running. And this is pretty much the same on guitar. Um, you have to be able to walk before you can run, obviously, but you can't walk as fast as you can run. So if you're playing this slowly, then you have lots of time and freedom to do pretty much whatever you want with your picking technique. And what my problem was, and a lot of people, others, other people's problem, is that they use too much motion in the picking hand. So then they're thinking down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, because they've just learned alternate picking and and they're they're putting a lot of effort into this and they're going. <laughs> at that speed they're suddenly not possible to increase the speed anymore and that is because they're thinking down up down up down up down up down up and not thinking I'm just gonna play this fast so at one point we're going to have to go from thinking down up down up down up to doing the same thing that we do when we do what's called the treadmill picking and I'm talking about controlled treadmill picking here not the type of slayer treadmill picking where you're just going as fast as you can without thinking about the rim, I'm thinking about something like this. And just watch the position, even the position, the way I'm holding the pick, changes when I do this. From when I do this. pretty much bending the pick a little more I'm getting into a more comfortable position to just be able to play fast and when I'm doing this I'm not thinking about down up down up down up down up just as you're, when you're running you're not thinking about left foot right foot left foot right foot and so on so you're going to have to do this this motion and try to apply it to this pattern I 
And now, uh, I know you're probably thinking, oh, but it's not that simple. You can just suddenly do it. And no, of course you can't. But what, what really helps build this is doing single string speed exercises. Like, um, for example, this. <laughs> Just find, make up an exercise where you're doing one to three four, one to three four, one to three four, where the one, the first beat, is pretty much um, it's it's where you press down on a fret, and the rest are open notes, and that way you're really going to really going to expose yourself if you're not synchronizing the hands in. So you can do it on the B string, like. Uh, After you do it slow, try first building up the speed and then putting in the framing hand. And once you can do this comfortably, then you can move over to doing it. On this exercise. So that was just a quick tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and um, I hope this helps you build your speed. And just remember kids, speed isn't everything. It's all about playing uh, nice stuff that's comfortable to listen to. But speed is of course uh, something that's fun to do. And um, yeah, take care guys. Good luck with uh, the guitar playing. See ya.